Hello everyone and welcome to Examby. In this video, I am going to show you the coding software that is Parikshak, which is used in SEBI IT phase 2 examination where you guys have to actually code your coding problems in the platform. So this platform is not a normal platform. This is a different platform which is used by SEBI IT and developed by SEDAC. So you have to be very familiar that how you have to use this software and uh, you have to actually practice on this software as well before uh, your examinations many times so that the environment is very much comfortable to you. So now I will show you the entire uh, basically uh, the flow of this Pariksha platform since the login till the end of the submission of the code. So what exactly everything is happening. I have this entire manual with me. So I'm just going to explain the entire manual. So this is the home screen of the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, that is CDAC, which has developed the platform Parikshak Let's Solve It. So you can see here in the right hand side, they have mentioned that Parikshak is an automated programming grading and analysis tool, which is used basically to evaluate automatically the codes of the uh, students and therefore reduces the load on the faculty and it is very useful because it has the features like online GUI platform then it is supporting six languages and these six languages can be compiled interpreted and scripting languages while in SEBI IT you will be allowed to have three languages that is C, C++, Java and Python when I say C and C++ they both are included in C++ version so in the actual coding language, you will have access to C++, Java and Python. Although this uh, particular tool supports six languages, but in the exam, you will get only three. You will not get any scripting languages. Now, these uh, things which are on the right hand side, you can read them by pausing the video and can get an understanding that how and why this Pariksha is made and what it offers. On the left hand side, you have the login panel where you will have to enter your username and the password. And once you log in, there will be the second screen that will be coming. Now, you can log in with your username and password even if you are not an enrolled one and allowed to have SEBI IT exam. This particular platform, you can create a kind of uh, uh, account for yourself as well. But that will not be active before uh, the exam. So what happened basically, uh, you can just check if you are allowed to have a separate uh, uh, individual account to access this Pariksha or otherwise you can wait till SEBI gives you some kind of credentials to use this platform. But you don't have to wait till they give you any kind of credentials to use this exam. You cannot wait till the time where you are having the exam phase one, the result of phase one, and then you get access to the phase two to get this Parikshak. I'm showing you this entire manual where without having any kind of credential, you are able to see the entire platform in itself. So once you enter your username and password and hit the login button, you will see the welcome screen that is coming after the successful login. And you can see here, now you will have your username and the organization under which you are logged in into the Parikshak. So here the organization under uh, this particular column will be SEBI for you and the student name will be the name that uh, by which you have entered the examination. You will have home exam assignment practice result and profile these all tabs once you log in there and there is a logout button that is on the top right corner. So if you have to log out you can click that button and can get uh, out from the entire thing. Now, this Pariksha program is a grading pro tool which is basically used in the input output based environment. Here, basically, whatever codes you have submitted, uh, the code will be checked against the malpractices, the reporting of the errors, and the problem specification. And if the faculty found that there is something which is uh, not good to examine your code, then they might not allow your code to get assessed. So this is one kind of uh, disclaimer that Parikshak gives you in the home screen. Now, once uh, you click to the exam and you want to appear to any exam, under the exam section, you will have the list of the available exams, their duration, their start date, their end date, and the number of attempts that you are allowed to have them, and what is your attempt and the extra attempts. All those things will be given to you. Now, when it will be a demo test, which uh, will be offered to you before your exam of the phase two, you will get this test name, the start date, the end date, and there will be multiple attempts also under which you can try to attempt your particular exam. So here in the actual exam also you will get 
to have this exam uh, tab under that you will have your original exam the number of attempt limit there will be only one if you log out in between you will be logged out from the entire uh, coding platform and you will not be able to log in again okay so this is about the uh, exams which will be available to you under your exam so here there will be only one exam that will be for SEBI IT. The start date will be the date of the exam. The end date will be the date of the exam. The time will be there. The duration of the exam that is three hours that will be also there. How many numbers of problem? Total number of problems will be nine in the actual examination that will be there. The attempt limit that is one that will be there and there won't be any extra attempt or so that will be zero and your attempt will be counted as zero before you start the exam. Now, once you uh, select a particular exam that you want to appear into, the system will show you the instruction pop-up where you are going to read the entire instruction and you have to click the OK button or the Yes button before you take the exam. So here you have to just understand that what all things you are allowed to do and what all things you are not allowed to do. So here you are not allowed to press the F5 button or you are not allowed to refresh your browser on the test window because it will lead to automatically the closing of the button. Uh, that is the close button uh, which is actually going to log out from the exam so please don't do that and once you are done with uh, your exam you can either close the button or you can wait for the timer to expire and then automatically your program and your codes will get submitted so this is the way after reading the instruction you will set to yes and you will start your exam once you are done with that the entire uh, thing uh, will give you the next screen that is your um, entire uh, coding platform but before going to that you have to understand that after clicking the yes the exam counter will also be started and it will uh, ask you for some uh, abc points like these points are there like you want to have the uh, like problems so there will be nine problems and out of those nine problems which problem do you want to solve first so there will be a drop down where you can select the problem then there will be the file name with the extension in which particular language you are coding so according to that that file name and extension will change then the programming language will be having a drop down called a select language and you can change your language as per that so for every question these three will be allowed so that you can change any language uh, for any question so one problem can be solved in python the other problem can be solved in c plus plus the third one can be solved in java there is nothing like that that you have to stick to one language for one particular entire exam you can change your language in between the questions as well so this particular thing gives you a flexibility that uh, if you feel like there is a question which can be solved easily in python that not can be solved easily in java or c plus plus you can go to python and code that language the next if you are more comfortable with java or c plus plus you can code on that so there is the flexibility that you can choose your programming language from the drop down list for every question specifically now this particular thing uh, will have the problem statement it will have the input output specification the problem that will be shown to you it will have these all things the problem statement what is the problem all about then the input output specification what kind of inputs are taken so that you can design your functions according to that and how you are going to expect the output then there will be sample input output also given to you and there the user can also view and recover from the last submitted code so the thing happens that when you submit your code it is getting submitted to a software that is called as grader now if you are not uh, like comfortable or you don't feel like this particular code is perfect to get into final submission you can change the code let's say after changing the code you want to go back to your previous code so you can also do that thing using the recovering of the last submitted code this is also allowed in the grader so let's say if you change your code and you want to get back to the previous code you can also do that that is also allowed in the grader so these are flexibility you have in this Pariksha platform now this is the main uh, GUI basically the graphical user interface with which you will be actually interacting so you, here you can see the timer will be on the top left hand side and this particular timer will start automatically as soon as you click the yes button then there will be the problem drop down where you can select the problem that which all problems are there so you will be having nine problems and out of those nine problems you have to solve six problems so whichever problem you want to solve that will be shown in the drop down here what problem number one with some name two three four followed as by 
nine things. So here it will be. Then last attempt code will be the code that is actually submitted by you for that particular problem. If you want to get that code only, you can recover your code. So recovering of the code and the last attempt of the code, these all are also there. Now you can see uh, in the left hand side, you have the entire uh, uh, area where in the black screen where you are going to write your code. So this will be your IDE integrated development environment. You can choose the syntax, the font size, the theme and all those things which are allowed here to use. You can see here the line number and the character number will be also maintained in the left uh, in the, sorry, in the uh, right uh, lower bottom of the uh, IDE. Now, what you, you can see here, you can select the languages by the select language drop down and you can put the file name specification according to that. If you want to know more on the side of the problem, the input and the output and the sample input output, these are the five options which are open given to you, like the problem statement, then the input specification, output specification, sample input output and the select language. So these all will be always activated wherever you want to navigate you can do then on the right hand side you have to provide your own test cases this will be there but it will not be given to, to you means the test cases which are already there will be feeded from the back end they will not be feeded to you uh, like in this particular thing because it is a, a basic uh, environment which can be used by anyone so they are going to check their own software but in the exam the software uh, is going to check your uh, code so here the input or uh, output thing will not be uh, present to you they will be abstract so once you submit your code your code will get some checked against some x number of test cases and you will get y or x or n for entire or uh, every test case so let's say if there are six test cases and you pass five of them so there will be five times y y y y y y and one time x or n so you can see in the output panel that your code has passed five test cases and has failed one test case so this is the entire uh, view of the pariksha platform how you are going to use that entire thing anyhow the providing of your own test cases will not be in the actual exam so you will not get that automatically the test cases will be feeded so this is the way how your entire examination portal is going to look like then the problem statement tab here the user will get the detailed statement of the selected problem and you can see the input output specification as i told you the sample input output as well you can select the language start the coding and you can click on compile and the compilation will start now the user can check their program against the um, particular uh, test cases or set of test cases by clicking on the self-assessment or here you can submit it to grader and grader will automatically do that so basically there will be two three options that will be different when you will be appearing to the final examination but at the end the entire soul of the particular platform is going to remain the same now you can see here once you write your your code after learning about the problem statement the input output out everything you will write your code then you will give it to the self-assessment you will compile and you will do the self-assessment you will provide your own input and output so here how the flow will go you are going to write your code you are going to compile it you are going to submit it to grader once you submit it to grader the grader will have its own test cases and it will provide you the output in the output screen so the output that you will be getting will be in terms of y and x it means y the test case has been passed x means the test case has not been passed so this all thing will be done in order to uh, make your exam happen in the actual scenarios okay so here self-assessment will not be there in the actual examination but if you are not doing it in sebi it exam if you are just using it for your own purpose you can have the self-assessment in button enabled now after that once you have completed the code and checked with your test cases and want to submit your code to the grader then you have to submit it to the grader once you are satisfied that okay this particular code is the final attempt from my side and this is the result the grader will test your code and check against the different test cases that is going to happen in the final examination will show the result in the form of y or x where y means the program has passed the test case and x means the program has failed the test case the greatest test case are not shown to the user that's what i was telling you all about that you are not going to see the test cases against which your code has been tested every time whenever you are going to uh, submit the code there will be some set of new test cases every time it will be not the same test cases which will you will be testing on let's say there are total 50 test cases which are made so randomly any five or six test cases will be tested for your code and you will get y or x according to that 
Now, please note that the input that the grader uh, test cases to the program should be given as per the input in specification and the output specification of the program. And according to that only you are going to get the inputs and the outputs and the final result. So the thing is like the format in which the grader expects the input, you have to write your code in the same manner that you give the input in that same format. Otherwise, grader will not be able to check your code against the test cases which are deployed on the server. Now, this will be the final actual thing which will be given to you. Once you submit your uh, thing for submit to grader, you can see here why 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 are being written so why 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 these all are there means five test cases were checked and your program has accepted uh, for those five test cases now it is full on full you can move to the next question in whichever language you want to code this particular self-assessment might be there in the exam might not be there in the exam that i'm not sure currently all about right now so if it is there you can provide your own inputs as per the input specification and then can submit it to the grader to check what uh, the final uh, test cases are getting checked on or not if let's say you are getting three y's and two n's and then you want to change your code and then you are getting two y's and three n's then and if you want to go to recovering of your code or last attempted code you can use the upper two buttons that are for last attempt code and the recovering of the code and you will get it back so that your best attempt will be there with the grader okay so this is the way how your entire examination will happen in the real time scenario and once you have completed the code for all the problems listed in the exam you will be exiting the test so do by clicking the close test button or when the timer will expire and the test cannot be attempted again. So this was all about the SEBI IIT Pariksha platform which is developed by CDAC and used by SEBI IIT in the phase 2 examination where you guys have to code and write everything uh, related to the code in that particular platform. I hope you like this video and this video was useful for your SEBI IT examination. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe the channel to get more regular updates like this, which will be very useful for your exam. Hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update. So now I have an announcement for you all that you can prepare 50% faster with high exam B and we have our course for SEBI IT as well. You can go to our website that is www.ixambi.com. can check out our course and also if you have any query mention that in the comment section or you can give us a call on the number that is flashed on the screen or you can just write a mail to us at hello at exambi.com. So that was all from my side. I hope this was very informative for all of you. And if I was not able to clear some of your doubts, please do not hesitate to mention that in the comment section. We will be more than happy to help you out. Till the time I bring the next video, keep practicing and stay updated.